Welcome to a world of darkness, mystery, and magic. <laughs> Mortal, not so fast. I think you um, took a wrong turn, didn't you? You understand you have no rights to be here. Yes. Don't make me say that again. Do you know this place? Oh, you do. Well, you also know that this place is off limit. For humans like you. So take your ass and turn it the other way around. You understand me? Stop wasting my time. Really? I find you very cocky for a mortal. I know I don't look like it, but believe me, I could tear you up in seconds. This baby here could make a nice dent on your face. And this baby right here could rip your eye out. I wouldn't even have to do anything else. I wouldn't even have to use my powers on you. You're too much. You thought I was human? <laughs> Presumptuous brat. Now tell me. Give me one good reason for you to be here right now. This is a vampire club, as you already know. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you have got some nerve, or you are completely crazy. You must be off your fucking mind. I swear. You won't. Okay. Let me get this straight. Okay. You want to talk to the prince himself? <laughs> you stink. You stink of mortal. He's never going to speak to you. He's not even going to look at you. Oh, really? You have something very important to tell him, do you? Why, why don't you send him an email? You need to speak to him in person. Listen. There are some rules that we have here. And none of them include mortals. You understand? Listen, 
I got it the first time. I'm not done, actually. Probably more intelligent than two or three of you guys. So, you don't need to repeat yourself. Now, I can let you in, but only if you give me a really good reason. Think well. You have 30 seconds. 29. 28, 27, 25. Oh, really? Very well. If that is actually the case, then you can go in. But be careful. If I found out, and I can very easily find out, that you lied to me, You're in for a whole new world of pain, my friend. If you know what I mean. Of course then. Very well. Go in, but no more than five minutes. You get it? Oh, you are my little bitch. Exactly what the prince wants, yes. <sighs> yes, I promise you will be my new girlfriend i will take care of you forever i who are you get away from me bitch what are you doing here What are you doing in my chambers? The audacity! Who let you in? My bouncer, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, she never. I'm sorry I'm such a mess. So, exactly what would you like me to say before I kill you? Do you have any thing interesting to tell me, perhaps? Like what the fuck you're doing in my quarters? <laughs> or shall we play little games? I have taken off my mask. Perhaps it's time that you take off yours.
and tell me what you want. Preferably before I kill you. Could be hard otherwise. I am sorry, I'm such a sloppy eater. I must say you look extremely beautiful. Would be a waste when I kill you. Nevertheless, I can't have humans interfere. So please, indulge me. Tell me what you're doing here. Or I might just rip off that cute little ear of yours. Yes, perfect. Sing your little tune, human. You what? You had a what? A brother. Okay. And I'm supposed to care because you saw what I did in here, didn't you? And now you made Janine sad. She's over there in the corner crying because of you. Your brother was turned into a vampire. And I'm supposed to care why? You want to find him. You want to be reunited with your brother. Ain't that cute? So, when you meet your brother, if you find him, what are you going to say to him, I wonder? You want him to turn you too? <laughs> and you need my authority to do so. How come you know so much about the kindreds? Who told you? Because I guess it wasn't your brother since he is AWOL. You heard. All right, and what exactly did you hear? What do you know? What do you think you know? The masquerade. Mm. Yes, the masquerade. It is a thing that has been going on for such a long time. And we do not like when humans such as you get involved. It often ends up very bloody and gory, for your kind, that is. <sighs> Nevertheless, I am a free-spirited mind. Yes, the prince before me, I don't even bother to remember his name, was much more of a tyrant, I guess you could call him. I, however, have a heart, although it doesn't beat, but it's still there. I can feel it sometimes talking to me. So you want to be reunited with your brother forever and ever and ever. Now, I guess you cannot find your brother on your own. You are so extremely beautiful. I think you would look great with a couple of fangs. However, I am in command. And I do not take my power unseriously, if you know what I mean. It has cost me blood to get where I am today. 
and I didn't get here because I was kind. Now, human, do you know what this means? You're prepared to face immortality. Let me introduce myself right away. My name is James Lester, the prince of this vicinity. And don't forget about it, because although I occasionally show my kind side, I am not to be played around with or played for a fool. Very well, very well, but it won't come cheap until the day I find your brother. And if he's still undead and not had met the true death, I will because I have my tentacles out everywhere. Until that day. And then I shall give him the permission to sire you. Until then, you are mine. Because I need eyes and ears in this world, in the human world. I need spies to watch for the Sabbath. There's so much for you to learn, the Camarilla, the Sabbath, the clans. But that is none of your concern right now. I do, however, need you to do something. Call it as a test to see if you are of the right stuff.